Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you have been paying attention to the stock market news, which I'm sure you are, if not, you will not be watching my videos, you would have heard that the market is overvalued now. Just name a couple of examples. Buffett cash pile tops record with 149.2 billions on hand. Berkshire cash pile hit record high in the latest quarter, surpassing a record set in early 2020. Buffett is definitely more optimistic than many other investors out there and when he is not deploying his cash, does that tell us that the market is overvalued now? Jeff Bezos has sold total of 9.9 .9 billion of Amazon shares this year. Elon Musk has sold total of 8.2 million Tesla shares, which is roughly half of the target 17 million Tesla shares he promised to sell. Let's listen to what Chama has to say on this. The two most important founders of our generation, the two smartest people who have really consistently won, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, have collectively sold more than $11 billion of their holdings this year alone. And if you can't take all of that and decide for yourself what's right for you and your family, you're doing yourself a disservice. What do you feel after listening to Chama's statement? Do you agree that the market is overvalued now? Let's take a look at the CAPE ratio, also known as Schiller PE. This Fortune article published in early November also said that the Schiller PE just hit an alarming new high. If you look at the chart of the Schiller PE, you can clearly see that it is close to all-time high. It is still lower than the period during the peak of the dot-com bubble around 2000. Well, I actually don't think the market is overvalued right now. The reason is because usually when people are looking at the Schiller PE, they are only looking at the stock market alone without considering the broader market such as the bond or even housing market. First, let's take a look at the Schiller PE formula, which is the price divided by the average 10 years earnings adjusted for inflation. Buying at a high PE means that you are paying a high price for the same amount of average 10 years earnings. If we invert the Schiller PE, then we get the average earnings divided by price or you can call this the earnings yield. The highest the earnings yield means that the market is undervalued. Now, let's bring in the bond market. The reason to bring in the bond market is that if an investor is not putting his or her money in the stock market, the most straightforward of market will be bond market. It could be treasury bond or corporate bonds. For your information, the global credit market in aggregate is about three times the size of the global equity market. So it is huge. For the purpose of the illustration, I will use the 10-year treasury rate as comparison. So this is how it looks like when the earnings yield of S&P 500 is compared to the 10-year treasury rate. From 1980s until now, both the earnings yield and the 10-year yield are trending down. If you are thinking the market is overvalued, that is true, but the bond is even more overvalued. When investors put their money in the bond market and only earn a tiny returns, of course, they will consider to channel their money back to the stock market. This is why stock market is at high valuation now. Next, look at the spread between the earnings yield versus the 10-year yield. In the period between 1988 to 2001, the earnings yield from the stock market is actually lower than the 10-year rate. This means that if you are putting your money in the stock market, you should expect earn less than the risk-free rate. This only makes sense if the investors believe that the earnings will grow in the future. But compare those period versus now, the earnings yield is at around 2-3% to and the treasury yield is still below 2%. So we can only say that the equity market is actually not overvalued as relative to the bond market. If you are not investing in the stock market because it is at all time high now and rather invest in bond market to earn a lower returns, then you might want to reconsider. One last point is that Fed already announced that they will taper the bond purchase and the first rate hike will probably happen in the first half of 2022. So if that happened, the 10-year yield may rise and that could have an impact to the stock market as well because whenever bond markets offer a better yield, some investors will rather channel their monies from the stock market to the bond market. This will impact the stock market valuation. As for me, I will not focus so much to predict the macroeconomics such as inflation and interest rates. To me, that is just too difficult. I would rather invest in fundamentally strong companies and just ride with them. This week, the leather jacket man has delivered nicely. Hope that it will continue. Hope that you also generated great returns and continue to build your portfolio. Invest safe and see you in the next one. Cheers!